gonna be honest, I do not have an intro. I just wanna play Sims on my new computer. But before we hop in to do that, this video is really a test to make sure that all of my in-game settings are running properly, as well as making sure that my OBS settings are not all out of whack. So let me know your feedback in the comments. But today we're doing CC makeovers of my recent not so berry Sims. And this is my 10 generations in 10 episodes let's play series. We are somehow magically halfway through the challenge just wrapped up with Plum Gen. So if you haven't already, you should check it out and subscribe so you can see what happens next with Orange Gen. But okay, I guess uh, I guess I lied. I did have an intro, but let's get into it now. So here we have Winter, who is our lovely matriarch of my Not So Berry Challenge. I'm going to go ahead and give her some more red colored eyes and then go into some skin details. Skin details, I think, are the thing that I missed the most when I was playing The Sims on my laptop because I couldn't have a whole bunch. But I just think it's really at this point where the sims start to look like actual people and less like sims because you could just get like just so much more personality out of them than you normally would if you have only the base game like come on you, you can't tell me that doesn't look so much better but this is where we get into the fun part because like i love cc hair i also apparently love broken cc I do feel like I have to update a lot of it, but this is where we could actually get like minty color. Cause like, I love teal, teal is my favorite color, but it's not mint, you know? But I'm honestly going for something wavy, like yes, this one. Cause I remember when I was first making her, I wanted her to have like just the really thick wavy hair. And I think I'm gonna go for these brows. Obviously not gonna find anything in this light minty green, but I'm thinking that looks pretty nice. And then, of course, we got to go for a nose ring and oh, we got to go for some hair clips. I know we can kind of see it peeking out on that side, but we're going to we're just we're just going to ignore that. But winter was always really bright and colorful. I have a lot of these eyeshadows by Gopal's Me and I want to do something that is, again, pretty bright, but also kind of complementing just this new, more kind of icy mintish color. That or I do a complete 180 and go back to the teal. I, I kind of like honoring the teal. But also don't hate on me in my decision paralysis. Where there were once not enough options, now I have way too many. I do like this one though, it's subtle and it brings back some of the highlights that we had before. Ah, uh, this is where it's at though. I can finally get the little eye reflections. It just makes them look so much more like anime uwu. Gorgeous, love it. I'm so in between wanting to do a more neutral lip and like just going back to the full on black. It's a tough decision, but I think we'll stick pretty neutral, but a little darker. But oh, before I forget, I can't can't go without my my new favorite face paint. Like that is the one, well, not the one, but one of the good things about kind of forcefully going base game is you're kind of forced to just work with what you got. Ooh, okay, I like that. That kind of feels like the spiritual uh, successor of the last little sweater she had. Ah, uh, little corduroy shoes. Ah, oh, I wish they had teal, but now uh, we'll stick with uh, something a little more subtle. Ah, oh, I forgot I gave her a little watch and a tattoo. I think I'll also keep her nails. You know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But here you go, our girl. We love her. And I'll put a formal before and after near the end of this video. Ah, oh, Ruby. And for better or for worse, uh, she has a lot of Caleb's facial features. Like, I love Caleb, but, but that boy has like the most arched eyebrows and thinnest lips around. But I'm honestly giving a lot of the same facial features that we had on Winter. I just want to see if I could keep some level of resemblance across the generations. I was initially not going to give her like any blush because the whole vampire thing. But I remember towards the end, she spent a lot of time just outside and campaigning. So I'm imagining a little bit of, uh, you know, darkening and just reddish freckles. And Ruby had pretty like kind of tiny little eyebrows. Yeah, put in a more reddish brown. This really complements her face. She's just looking so cute. I'm so happy. Now hair is where it gets hard again. Ooh, this would be really good for Zelda. But as a teen, she had the really straight hair. And as an adult, we kind of got the bigger, wavier, like late 80s, early 90s, uh, crossed with like Little Mermaid hair. But I like this one. It's the waves. I'm just going to go for something a little more subtle around the eyes. We got our eye reflections and then we got to do a red lip because we got to we got to work with what we got. I wish there was a little more on the bottom lip, but beggars can't be choosers. I think I'll try to find something full body. 
Okay, this is cute. Ah, uh, this is so hard. Ooh, that'd be a nice formal. You know what? Nah, we're we're going with this one. But I was looking back at some of her other outfits. She she liked showing some skin shorts and midriff tops and all of that. So it just feels very youthful, and I like it. So here we go, number two, Ruby Berry. Ugh, Maze. I honestly feel like we struck gold with Maze. She was always like the prettiest sim. Like, I'm very biased with freckles, and most of these sims so far have freckles, but she just wears them so well. This is an easy winner, though I am going to change those brows. And I know I've been going very heavily custom content and removing a lot of the previous items and accessories, but like, come on, this is just, it's just perfect for Maze. I'm like caught between wanting to do like a cool little alien kind of color overlay or honestly just going back to the original because there's something about this that just really complements her eye shape. I just don't want to go too heavy with it because she just has such like just good natural features. Nice little eye shine. We'll do a nice subtle lip. And then we of course got to go with the highlight. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Stop maze though. We need more stars and moons and werewolves. Oh my god. There's yellow in it, we're doing it. Which just means we we gotta do yellow pants. Now nah, we gotta go something more kind of loose and casual. That's much more Maze's style, like, yes. This, 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 this. And honestly, the shoes, the shoes are good. But here we go, our, our clumsy, ambitious loner. And next, we of course got Zelda. And of course, her pointy ears. <laughs> But at this point, I'm, I'm trying to go in on the alien features because as much as I love all of the girls so far, I also don't want to completely fall into same face with everyone. Oh my goodness. She's so cute and looks so different, but still so similar to the rest of her little ancestors. Now, where's that one I saw that had like the little braids on the sides? Because that's been something I've been having fun with with Zelda is giving her like little braids and accessories. Oh my gosh, that is Daphne hair. Not my Daphne, but you know, the other one. Oh, that's also so cute, but it reminds me of my other Let's Play. Ooh, I think it was this one. I do like it, but I want to go for something that's maybe a little more tied back. Ooh, yes. Because I think I went a lot with like pigtails and braids and other things. So this is good. It's really good. It's athletic. We didn't have any accessories on Zelda, but we did like a little bit of a, uh, like a subtle makeup. I think it was just a matter of keeping that femininity and maybe also a little bit of just trying to blend in, you know, alien disguise and everything. Ooh, these are cool. I'll do that because it kind of reminds me a little bit of the alien eyes. I just need a non-orange or pink type of natural lip. So I think we're just gonna go with the usual Mac that we've been using. <laughs> and again. Before I forget, gotta get the brows. Ooh, them some spicy brows. You know what? I like those. I do kind of like her with the more angled brows. There's something about it. Okay, those are nice. All right, time to think full body athletic. I've honestly just been thinking about this like heathered gray one piece athletic getup. I think she'd enjoy it. And you know what? Honestly, those those are good. So here we are, keeping it simple. There is Zelda Berry, our athletic superstar. And then of course, last but not least, Daphne, most recent heir extraordinaire. I did make some more kind of orangey colored eyes. I'm just spicing things up, starting with the brows this time. We gotta go big with the eyelashes. I wonder if I have any like purple, purple hair. I just, I don't get why purple is such a hard color. This feels like a personal attack. You know what? We're going with this one. Um, I think it's a vintage glamour, but yeah, nothing, nothing wrong with this one. This will ultimately also be the Daphne that I am including in the next episode of the Not So Berry, because it's going to be Dahlia's turn and Daphne's obviously still going to be around. Ooh, do we go extra lashes? You know, normally I wouldn't, but uh, showbiz, you know? But you know what? I'm I'm giving Daphne what she deserves. It's after she literally carried that entire hospital all on her own. She deserves the lash extensions and just all all the big bright purple accessories she wants. We need we need a good wing. That looks pretty good. Cute little eye reflections. And honestly, this this nude gloss that's nice. All right, time to go big performer. What are we doing? Like that's that's pretty cute. Oh my gosh. 
This is so in your face. I have to do it. I love it. I feel like we're needing something super high-waisted and super short. Just something that says dance. Like, honestly, I'm not hating that. Oh, these are pretty cute. They're like edgy ballet slippers. <laughs> There's also gladiator shoes. You know what? Maybe, maybe I'm skipping ahead. I'm skipping ahead. Hmm. Hmm. No, nah, I think we all knew it was the top. <laughs> but okay, we could go a little more fun performer type dancing. So I still want something that's, that's kind of flashy, but still gives the like theater kid vibes. Just why is purple such a tough color in this game to match? One way or another, though, I'm going to get that super starry purple shirt on her. You know what? Nah, we're out here living our dreams. I'm wearing this shirt. So there we have it. Those are all of my not so berry sims so far. Let me know whose makeover you like the best in the comment section and be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. But honestly, with that, thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you on the other side.